Now to a shameful crime targeting some of the most vulnerable. Scammers impersonating funeral home staff to take advantage of grieving families. The Federal Trade Commission now putting out a warning for this, and so are the people who are being targeted by these scammers. Xavier Walton spoke with one of them. Music embodies the Jen and Dustin Loth speech love story. Everything is music in our household. They met in 2012, eventually got married, and had Harrison. So mesmerized. But in March, the music stopped. He unexpectedly passed away one night. I'm thankful for all the time that we had, but I'm bitter about all the time that we don't. While planning a final farewell to her late husband, Jen, hanging on by an emotional thread, got a call. My phone started ringing and up popped the number for the mortuary. And I had it saved with our funeral director's name. And I was like, oh, Sean's calling, that's weird. And so I was like, well, who, who is this? And he said, well, my name is Craig and Sean's in the middle of a viewing, but he wanted me to make some calls. And I was like, okay. And he was like, well, there's a, a matter of insurance that wasn't settled with you and we need um, a payment. And he was saying it's 49.90. And so I started to panic thinking he's asking for $5,000. Jen says the scammer spoofed the funeral home's number and even knew the employees by name. There's another despicable story just like this one out of Ohio. The Ohio Department of Commerce said scammers were using obituaries to select their targets. At this point, they're at probably the lowest, most vulnerable position they are in life. The Federal Trade Commission sent out a warning and says to resist the pressure to act immediately, contact the funeral home directly and know how scammers tell you to pay. You're not in your right mind. So when you realized this was, by all accounts, a scam, what was your reaction? I was just sick. The last thing that he did was he called me back and said, we're going to refuse your business because of how rude you've been to us. And you're going to have to figure out where to put your husband, like basically saying they were going to like be done with his body. So the guy just like wanted to hurt me because he wasn't going to get my money. So thankfully, Jen didn't fall for that scam. Meantime, the National Funeral Directors Association is warning people about this as well. Uh, but Adrian, when you hear this story and you hear her story and think it's happening to others, uh, just the lowest of low. Xavier Walton, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.